so today we are going to be working in the proxmox world we are going to be setting up a kubernetes cluster on top of proxmox what is talos why does that sound familiar talos.dev the kubernetes operating system set up a talos cluster go straight to the docs should we use talos two hours later all right so chat has decided what we're going to deploy a kubernetes cluster with talos okay so the overview is we want to find a simple approach to deploying kubernetes to our self-hosted proxmox infrastructure so what do we need? We're gonna need three instances. We're gonna need a Kubernetes installer of some type. How do we deploy instances? How do we deploy Kubernetes? How do we deploy Kubernetes? I'll explain. We want to use Talos to deploy our cluster for easiest setup and management. Because this is a specialized system, we need to determine how to deploy instances with automation. I would put this in, how do we deploy instances? To properly set up a Talos VM with all the requirements of a normal assisted uh, machine, we will need to do the following to get the proper ISO. Navigate to Talos Image Factory, select cloud server, select latest version, select no cloud select desired machine architecture keep this page open and download the iso so we're just doing what we've already done and i'm going to upload that mamma jamma so now we're going to step away from this so we've got talos iso now we need to do infrastructure as code i'm going to let you decide which iac should we use pulumi or terraform two hours later all right well the people have spoken we're gonna do git in it bear terraform prox mox dot git that means we're going to create a new repository basically what this provider is telling me to do is is to add a new role add a new user and then add a role to that user we are going to use the cli approach and here's why it looks like they are doing something a little specific now i am going to change the command slightly but we're going to follow basically what they're saying we're going to go like this we're going to copy and create our role there's our role here's our user and then here's our role association there we go okay so now if i go to users there's our role terraform proxmox where's our users there's pve hit permissions there it is yeah all right let's keep reading on so it wants us to export some values so we'll say touch.m for right now we'll just create ourselves a nice little m file so user password touch main.htl paste this in so this should be r610 01 alta 4 dot domains new file version.htl i have to add the provider oh it's tf it forgot so let's do module we'll just create a module for kubernetes and then main.tf and we'll get rid of all this uh talos 01 610 01 no cloud amd 64.iso i want disk control as well as cpu control cores equals two you know what we're kind of like okay on ram so we'll we'll give them four gig. so we want to make sure the network block is in here as well bridge network should be good ram should be good cpu cores should be good oh hard disk that's right i want to set the size of the hard drive so i should be able to do like 100g here's where it gets interesting so we're going to use the console for now so i'm not going to use cloud in it or anything like that for this at least yet i'm going to make a couple of little variables that are helpful so i'm going to say talos nodes talos 01 now the reason why i'm doing this is because i'm basically setting up automation so that i can easily modify these vms if i want to and so that i can also iterate over these directly so i'm going to say for each local talos nodes we will call this talos we can even just do it like this if we really wanted to just to make our lives simpler and then i should be able to do like this and then each key like this that is actually kind of nice because now what i'm doing is i'm basically saying each talos node can be assigned directly to its target node equivalent however i'm not going to do this because i know that there's another problem i could run into which is when i want to add more talos nodes and i don't have the ability to assign it to like a six right or whatever else so here's what we'll do instead 
we'll just start using this and say target node r61001 and then we'll do the same thing for here this will make it so that in the future if i want to add more talos nodes then i can just say which nodes that those are on so the talos nodes then this just becomes each key and then this becomes each value dot target node let me add my module module kubernetes source module kubernetes talos cp01 i figured control plane nodes and worker nodes are the same all right chat let's try creating our vms disk conflicts with disks so i believe we would do this vert io and then like this vert io zero and then we do this oh this is scuzzy okay well in that case we'll just use scuzzy let's try a plan damn it storage required but was not found and slot is not expected here so we're looking for storage i think the storage here is virtual because that's what i called the storage let's try this again hey there we go nice okay cool so should we just should we should we ship it so i'm gonna go to summary here i'm gonna do this on the right i'm gonna do this on the left and then i'm gonna hit apply create me my vms hey there's one of them oh we have a problem. It all they're all getting created on the same node. That's probably because my dumb ass forgot to change the node. <laughs> but this is dope. That's awesome. That happened really fast. Yeah, I forgot to change the node because I'm a dummy. All right. There we go. So one small change, we'll do another Terraform plan and then we'll do an apply. And let's see let's see what happens to these other two nodes. They're going away. Oh, it's migrating it. Holy crap. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting that. It's actually just migrating it instead of deleting it. Okay. All right, Proxmox. I see you. So I did make one small little oopsie, which is I accidentally provisioned the VMs all to the same node. So I changed the Terraform configuration to migrate them to the appropriate nodes. We should be able to go to that first node because Talos 01 did start. Oh, we failed. Oh, we're not even booting. Let's look at hardware really quickly and see what we might have missed. So we didn't get the CD for some reason that's weird cd-rom iso okay so we missed something let's go to local so why did we not get a vm use disk local oh maybe we need to set the storage local iso image name dot iso oh yeah you're right yep you're right nice well done well done good catch so to fix that problem we actually want to go here and we want to do this storage pool so that's our problem so create all virtual machine resources in terraform so basically after all the machines are up and running we need to initialize the talus cluster by generating machine configurations this will be for the first node uh so generate a machine configuration for the control plane ip node so then we'll just do IP address like that so that we know to change it. So then using the control plane generated YAML, you can now apply this. Okay, so then what we would do is, is we would say, apply the configuration to the node. We're just gonna get rid of these VMs really quickly. So then we're gonna do a Terraform plan. The reason why I wanna do this is because I wanna create vert IO disks. I don't wanna create SCSI disks to get better performance. Can control plane nodes not run containers? Or should I go hard and create six? So a, a control plane node should be able to run containers as well, right? So yeah, I guess what we can do is, is we can just create, I'll tell you what, we'll do this. We'll create our control plane nodes and then we'll create three worker nodes but i'm not going to create the worker nodes just yet i'm just going to do the the main part so let's do terraform plan and then terraform apply hey all right we're in maintenance mode look at that so i'm going to create highly available control plane nodes with the qemu guest agent as well so i've already got my command right here we're going to copy this we're going to paste this 6443 output Talos, uh, we'll just say, we'll just call us Talos. Install image, factory, Talos, looks good. Okay, and run. And I wanna look at this really quickly. So basically it creates you a nice little Talos directory. And in it, you get a control plane.yaml with a bunch of configuration. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Installer, registries, node labels. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is like a full on Kubernetes cluster configuration. I like this. So far, 
pretty impressed with Talos. Now we need to apply our control plane node. So then I'm going to go back in here. Talos apply insecure nodes. Bam. Wait, is that it? Oh, hey, look. Okay. So it did something because now the machine's rebooting. I actually am starting to dig Talos. Oh, wait a minute. This went right back into, is this in maintenance? Oh, it's in maintenance still. So what's happening right now? At some point it said, couldn't find system disk. So if installed correctly, it would have complained by now that it's installed, but it's running from the ISO. We could set boot order. Boot order. Yeah, here it is right here. We're thinking that it's vert IO zero and then IDE two. Let's do this. So boot from the disk first, then from the drive, then if anything, do the network. Let's see what happens. We should boot back into, oh, we didn't boot into it at all. There's something we're missing. Boot order vert io net zero and then ide2 oh it doesn't it swapped them i think we need to do a couple of things i think we need to make sure this boot order gets set properly so let's do terraform uh, destroy yes just want to destroy these vm really quickly we've got our order set to vert io zero ide2 and then net zero but for some reason it may not have updated the way that we wanted it to because it seems like it did vert io zero and then net zero we'll do another plan and apply let's see what kind of vms we create there we go vert io zero idd two zero and net zero okay perfect that looks like what we want we did in fact boot into the vm this time <laughs> that's good so we're back in maintenance mode let's try this again let's delete our talos stuff yep looks good and then 172. okay so let's see if it boots into it now no system disk found nothing to revert yeah, it's just going right back into the ISO. I don't know why, but I, I don't think vert IO is working. If I go to Nomad hardware, vert IO SCSI single. Oh, shit. controller. Here we go. Okay, this is in the top level block. LSI. Oh, I see. Like this equals, we'll set it to single. Let's see if this works. So we moved over to SCSI single to match our other one. We're using a vert IO disc, another destroy. Looks good. All right, let's go to console, get discs. Let me try that just to make sure. VDA, mother It is working, we do see it and we have what we want. There we go. Install disc, dev VDA. Well, that's one of the things we needed. <laughs> we'll see whatever else we needed, but that's one of the things that we needed. Apply, let's see if we get it this time. Oh, it seems to be doing something. Hey, health check successful. Let's go. Healthy, baby. Woo. Here's my next follow-up question. Now, if I want to add the other two, does that mean I just change this address? Nodes. I'm guessing so. I'm going to go ahead and guess yes. This is where the DevOps part comes in that's fun, which is just guessing and see what happens. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then we'll go in here. We'll say uh, to all control plane nodes so we haven't bootstrapped the cluster yet then let's do this on the third node all right there we go it sees three machines healthy all this stuff looks good so now what i'm going to do is after all control plane nodes are set up it's time to bootstrap the cluster and then bootstrap okay and then we can retrieve the kube config okay so let's do all of this so we will export this config node. Okay. And then Talos CTL bootstrap. Are you ready? Here we go. Shit is happening chat. Health check successful. Okay. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what I just did. Do I just wait now? So how do I know when this is like done stage? I guess the stage maybe changes. It says that it's waiting for the extension QEMU guest agent to be up and I'm not seeing any output yet. So maybe that's what we're waiting on right now. Got to have the option on the VM. Oh, disabled. F All right, back to one chat. <laughs> Destroy. <laughs> Let's do it again. It's okay. It's okay. This is why we automate things. I set it to zero. Mother terraform. Enabled. There we go. Okay, cool. Come on, baby. Boot up. Listen to your master. I got to delete the Talos directory. Gen config. There we go. Remember we got VDA and then apply. Okay, so we should be good now healthy now let's try bootstrapping let's see what's happening console we're running let's do talus kube config let's get our kube config kube control get node yeah. there we go we're up we did it should we provision some workers now just because why not yeah first try bro first try <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about first try okay so let's do this let's go to local 
And I, I want I want three worker machines. So then we'll do this. Control worker. Terraform plan. Terraform apply. Give me more machines. I want more nodes. Okay, so create a worker node. After bootstrapping is complete, add all additional worker nodes. We'll copy this. So then we want to go here. Worker IP, Talos, worker. Hey! Look at this. Worker, 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 control plane, control plane, control plane. We did it. We done did the thing. I think we're in a pretty good spot. So we created a document called deploying Kubernetes on Proxmox. We said, what problem are we trying to solve? What are our requirements? How do we deploy instances? We needed to set up our infrastructure as code. Let's add a, a small little call out here, which is next steps would be to automate the entire Talos setup process with a infrastructure as code provider so if you guys are curious in setting up talos on your proxmox cluster yeah we were able to go through that doc and pretty much successfully do it as well as get some automation out of it too if you guys are curious about talos it is talos.dev also if you're new to the channel would love to have you in the discord if you ever have any questions or anything like that ask the wonderful people in there i had a blast doing this today but yeah dudes thank you so much i had such a great time have a good one peace out guys